Hey, weirdos. It's Darren, and uh, I wanted to give you a quick update on that post I made several days ago about how thankful I was uh, that you were there for me, that uh, I was able to actually now be able to afford the medication that was so expensive, and yet my insurance company had not yet approved it. Well, the insurance company still hasn't come through on that, but then again, it's the holiday weekend, and you know, I'm sure something will, will be figured out, you know, within the next week or two, but that's okay because I've got a month of that med because I was able to uh, purchase it myself thanks to you listening to the podcast. Well, I, I told you in that post that the medication could possibly be a, a game changer for me, a life changer, literally, I think is actually what I said. Well, they said that the medication, it's testosterone, by the way, I don't think I mentioned that. Um, I, I, it turns out that I have, I had low T. So I finally found a doctor who, uh, would prescribe that I've gone through years and years and years of being, you know, without, without energy, you know, sleeping 14 hours a day or 12 hours a day, usually, um, you know, having, having that, uh, the depression and everything else, which I still am on med meds for, by the way. But, um, then again, it's, it's early. But uh, the, the testosterone, I was told by the doctor, could take several weeks to really take effect for me to, to, to feel it in its, in its full capacity. So I might actually start feeling even better in the weeks to come. But I can tell you that in the last five days, I have been happier. I have had more energy. It really has literally been a game changer, a life changer for me. Uh, I am thrilled with how I feel now. I wake up and I don't have the vertigo as much as I used to. My my migraines are, are practically gone, um, which is odd. I didn't realize the testosterone had anything to do with migraines. And maybe it's just a coincidence, but hey, I'll, I'll take it. In fact, even it, maybe this is the placebo effect, you know, M maybe... Maybe it really hasn't taken effect yet because it could take weeks to take effect. And maybe this is just my mind tricking me into thinking that I'm feeling better. And I don't care. Send me sugar water to take and tell me that it's medicine if it works for me, right? So, But I am feeling amazing uh, right now. I am now able to get up and get started on my day. I should be able to do more now. Things that I have been wanting to do for who knows how long, like start doing the, the audiobooks like I really used to, instead of taking three years to do a, a to do a book for one particular author, which I still feel crappy about. But he was so cool about about it, and he's already given me another book to narrate because he he just likes weird darkness and and he likes me and and I mean that's a friendship right there, even though I've never met the guy. But I'm able to do that. I I actually felt like going out with my bride and going out to to uh to lunch which hasn't happened in a long while. We haven't gone out, you know, granted the the pandemic kept you from, you know kept all of us from going out and doing anything. So even if I was in the mood to go out and go out to lunch or dinner or something, I, we wouldn't have been able to. But even since we were got our shots and everything, I just wasn't really feeling up to it. Now, I'm actually asking her out. She says that my playfulness is back, that she that her husband, the one that she married, is here. And she hasn't seen her husband in 10 years. I have all of this to thank you for. You are the reason that I was able to get the meds and get on this track. If the if the insurance never comes out, if if if, if for some reason they decline it, and it is a controlled substance, so I know that that's a possibility. But even if they do, I'm actually in a position now, it's it's not fun to spend $400 a month on one particular, lo uh, uh, one particular medication, but if that's what it takes, I'm okay. Because you have made Weird Darkness a successful podcast, which I never thought was possible. I started doing this back in 2015, goodness gracious, six years ago. <laughs> wow, it's been that long. 
I started doing this in 2015 just because I thought it might be fun. I needed a creative outlet because um, my quote unquote real job, even though I love the company that I that I work for, it just it wasn't real creative. And if you know me at all throughout my life, I've, I'm, I'm so right brained. I needed something to kind of get my creative rocks off. And that's what I what I tried just to see. And it just happened to take off. But I would I would never expect to be where I am today with a podcast. Nobody is successful in podcasts, you know, unless you're Joe Rogan or somebody, you know. And I, of course, I'm not nearly close to that level. I don't think I ever want to be close to that level. That's just that's a little, that's too much for me. But my wife and I, we've actually um, said in the past that our our definition of wealth is just being able to go to the grocery store without first having to, to uh, balance the checkbook to make sure we have enough for groceries. That's it. That's our, that is our definition of being rich. And because of you, we are finally there now. And I can get this medication that has just been an amazing, amazing change for me. Today, Independence Day, is it, it has sort of has a double meaning for me because I have felt I, I feel my freedom again. I finally feel independent from whatever it was that was keeping me down. I have you, I have God, I have my bride and my doctors to thank for it. I, I cannot thank you enough. I, I, I wish I could message each individual one of you and say thank you, but there's just way too many of you. And I don't think that even being, I don't, I don't think that even posting on Facebook would be enough because not all of you follow on Facebook or are in the group or anything like that. So I'm putting this into the podcast just to let you know how thankful I am for each and every one of you for, for changing my life. So thank you. I hope you're having a great holiday weekend. If you're in the U S if you're elsewhere in the world, I hope you're having an amazing Sunday. God bless. And You'll be hearing from me again tomorrow with another episode.